Hey everyone, this is future me making an edit to this video because uh, my intro on the first take got cut out. But I hope you enjoy the video and understand the purpose of why I'm making this video. My apologies on not making uh, any content in a while. It's, it's really been a long time. Uh, I'll get to why that is though in a little bit. Um, you might already know if you have me on Twitter. I've uh, talked about it on Twitter a little bit, but I uh, just don't like the game right now with how it is. But this video, I wanted to make it to talk about my opinions on the current state of the game. Because a lot of people have been sharing their thoughts on it, whether it's on Twitter, YouTube, whatever the platform is. So I'll talk about my opinions on it as short as possible with giving like the best information I can while playing. Uh, so the issues I have with the game, easily number one is the wake up system now. It used to be breakaway, but uh, the wake up system easily is the worst for me right now. Uh, breakaway is next and then hitbox issues and inconsistencies then character depth and you know execution and all that with combos so I'll start with the wake up system uh, the wake up system I think with how limited the offense is in this game compared to previous titles there is no need for this many wake ups on defense it's just like uh, I don't understand why uh, a game that revolves around just strike throws has such a insanely strong defense game I understand it's more read heavy but like it's really hard to read a person when you have less options in them after making like the offensive read on them by opening them up and it's just you almost don't want to knock them down because of the fact they get so many defense options on you and it's just like I don't know it's not not what I'm used to in a fighting game at all uh, wake up buttons is really an issue that I can't stand dealing with. Uh, you're not always going to be able to cover that option because then you have other wake ups to deal with. So, uh, like you, you can wake up jump, you can wake up buttons, short delay wake up buttons, wake up jump, long delay, or just regular get up into those. Those are like my biggest pet peeves with the game is the wake up system and how uh, obnoxious you can be on it. The breakaway system, um, I don't like breakaway because you can get punished for opening somebody up. Now I know there's ways around it by doing breakaway specific, like anti breakaway specific combos or even armor breakers, but I don't think it's. Um, enough to make it balanced with how it is right now I honestly don't know how you would address breakaway like maybe give it more active frames where you're on the ground but I'm not sure because like you could easily make Oki really oppressive by doing that for some characters if you're on the ground for such a long period of time damn I messed up Yeah, and then uh, with the armor breakers, uh, I'm going to tie that into the breakaway discussion. Um, with armor breakers being a new part of the meta now, since they added it in with Aftermath, whenever Aftermath came out, uh, some characters have horrible armor breakers, while some either don't need them or have really good ones. Now, I, I do think it's really cool to have a certain, like, a different archetype for each armor breaker. But I feel like armor breaker should be a universal option for every character. I'm not saying everybody should have a good armor breaker, but it should be an option for every character to use. Maybe some can just be knockdowns for some characters, some can be launchers, some can be a launcher if they spend a bar, some can just be a different type of pop up or knockdown, like whatever the case may be depending on the character. Obviously you don't want to give Jackie a good armor breaker that launches because she's already top one in the game. So obviously she wouldn't need it. But for the characters that got shafted like Sonya, uh, 
she really got a horrible armor breaker and it kind of sucks for her because she can't really deal with that and she's already like not the best character like in the roster she's probably like mid low tier but that's another discussion though it's just an example wake up buttons you gotta love it <laughs> um but yeah that's uh that's like an issue with breakaway and armor breakers is they're not really balanced and i don't think in any fighting game should you get punished for opening somebody up or be at a disadvantage uh, disadvantageous state because breakaway can easily cause that with some characters um so what was so yeah oh yeah uh inconsistencies and hitbox issues never would have thought of mk11 having that because it's the newest game that we have uh last time i remember dealing with major hitbox issues is like mk9 hold up Like, that was a good display of armor breakers right there. That was awesome. Um, but yeah, there's just so many hitbox issues in this game. And some of the hitbox issues, like, uh, that's some of the people's main complaints about this game. Is, uh, like, if they could address anything first, that would be one of them. For me, that's not it, but it, it is definitely an issue I want to address for sure. Like, Shao Kahn, for example... He can't jail his standing one after down one on hit, and it's just like every character should have that. Like, why, why can't Shao Kahn have that? Even Jack sometimes struggles to get his uh, stand one to jail after down one. Oh my god, did I just get low crushed? If that low crush, I did not know that I did that. Um, so yeah, hitbox issues and inconsistencies, it's still an issue with this game, even though the game's been out since 2019 of April or something like that. I don't know how long they plan on patching this game and keeping it alive, but um, that's definitely something they gotta fix if they want this game to last for years. Um, but yeah, that's just an example of Shao Kahn. There's, there's a lot of that in this game. A lot of strings whiffing or not functioning correctly. And what was the other thing uh, after hitboxes and inconsistencies? Honestly, I do not remember, and I apologize, but um, one other thing is NRS's lack of communication. Uh, like, Jackie's been top one since Final Combat, and it's just kind of annoying seeing the game revolve around her so much. And now, it's okay to have top tiers, obviously, but the fact is, like, we don't know whether it's going to get addressed or not. It's just like kind of scary, and um, I don't know. It's just I feel like there should definitely be some sort of communication on their end. Oh, thank goodness I got that. Had to stop talking for that. So yeah, with the lack of communication, it's just like, it keeps us on eggshells and we're just like stuck thinking, like, do they actually know, or do they care if we want this uh, issue addressed or not, you know? It just kind of leaves us with no hope in a way. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah, character depth, that's what I wanted to talk about too, I forgot about that. Um, hold up, let me focus on this real quick. The laggy lag, definitely don't like that. No, I wanted to amplify that. Oh my god, that was so ugly on my part. 
Yeah, that was the other thing though. Uh, the depth in this game. The characters have no depth really at all. Uh, we're all just doing the same combos pretty much because um, a lot of the combos in this game are like limited to only launching in the corner. Uh, that started becoming a trend in NRS's games uh, in Injustice 2. Uh, for example, Superman's 223, Batman's 113, uh, they only launch in the corner currently right now. And there's a lot of that specifically in this game too. Um, they took away a lot of meterless launching combos, which I understand for some characters that's a good idea because then you have an archetype of characters that you can use. You can have the characters that need no meter, then you have the characters that do need meter for combos. So it's a good idea, but I think they kind of just put it across the board way too much. I mean, it just takes away from execution, creativity, and all the possibilities you can have with your character, you know? Uh, the fact that you just do so much damage in this game for little effort takes away with execution uh, and combos and it's just kind of sad because uh, I feel like everybody pretty much does the same combo for the most part and you can't really tell people apart. If you had two pro players playing each other with no name tags or gamer tags revealing them, any type of sign that would have revealed them. If you had to guess who they were just by judging their gameplay, I think the only people you would be able to like point out is like Ninja Killer, or sorry, Ninja Killer, because of his insane movement and like mastery of the game. But other than like Ninja Killer and uh, like Sonic Fox or Dragon or something, like you're not going to be able to tell. Um, the Jackie community apart or the Sub-Zero community apart because they're all mainly doing the same combos. So the character depth is definitely lacking in this game. Um, and I really hope they don't keep continuing the trend of doing big damage in small chunks because I think that's one of the main reasons why that the characters lack depth. And also just overall nerfing combos. That was like an uh, issue I saw since the game before it came out. Uh, when they were streaming like their uh, characters and all that stuff. With what they were doing with the game. I think that's mainly everything though. With the naming issues. Now as far as fixing them. Uh, I'll save that for another video. Because this video would be way too long. And I think I actually like the length. Of I'm going at with this video. I'm, it feels like 20 minutes right now. But I, you know, I could be wrong. But, um, I think I'll, uh, I'll just do this last set. And end it at that. And that way I can kind of focus on this set. Without talking too much. And getting distracted. Damn, that sucks for him. This person's probably uh, pretty sad. Oh yeah, uh, I don't think I talked about Fatal Blow either, actually. if um, Fatal Blow I don't really have much of an issue with, but uh, there are some annoying Fatal Blows to punish because of their insane pushback. Uh, like Garrus, for example. Uh, Liu Kang happens so fast it's hard to process what happens by the time you block it and you're just like holy crap like I just blocked this fatal blow and you're like stuck thinking what to do because of how fast it happens um, some characters can just shut down the flow of the game with their fatal blows and while I think that's fair for some characters like Jax because he's not like crazy top tier I feel like the ones that don't need that aspect in their fatal blows should definitely get toned down. Because uh, they just don't need it. And I feel like you should be able to punish every fatal blow 100% of the time. Because if you guess right on their fatal blow, they're just going to get it the next round. You know, like a fatal blow is just such a resource, or free resource that you can just use whenever you want with pretty much no, uh, like, punishment. In my opinion, I think it should cost like a defense bar to uh, 
activate a fatal blow. And I think you should um, have to use maybe one offense bar or something. And I know that might nerf the characters with double looping launchers in the same combo. Like, you could do two of the same launchers in the same combo. But, like, if you did a fatal blow after two launchers in the same combo, it's going to scale a lot. So, I mean, I don't think it would be too big of a deal. Which is kind of ironic, because I was talking about there's no combos in this game. But, uh, I don't know. I feel like uh, fatal blow should definitely get looked at, too, with, this, uh, with how safe some of them are. A lot of them just have insane pushback. Like, I don't think any should have any pushback. I think they should all be 100% punishable, like with consistency. Um, I think that's literally everything. I, I believe that's literally everything that I wanted to talk about. So from here, I'll just focus on the match. I got the conversion. But yeah, as far as me, uh, I don't think I... I honestly just don't feel like uh, competing anytime soon with how the game is right now. And as sad as that is, I think I'm just going to keep it that way. Um, I just don't like how the game is right now. I honestly tried to get back into the game when Aftermath came out with the DLC, but I just couldn't. After playing Fujin for a little bit, I was already bored with the game, and the fact that none of the issues that were addressed that I was hoping to get addressed, uh, they didn't get addressed, so it's just the game's pretty much the same to me, and uh, the same frustrations and all that stuff going through it while playing it. I might try to make like tech videos or something, or maybe I'll... Um, I was planning on uh, hosting a tournament actually, but I still have to see what's going on with that. But um, yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on the game right now. Um, maybe I'll make a continuation to this video on like a wish list of what I would want changed. Cause I don't want to make this video too long, but I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from with this video. Again, I'm really sorry for the lack of content creation. Um, follow me on Twitter, and that's where I'm usually active most at. If you want to see like how I'm doing and like all that stuff, um, I've just been playing Combat League because of the skins and all that. But outside that, I just have not been getting myself to play this game at all. Hopefully the game has some good changes to it sometime soon because believe me, I do want to get back into this game, but I just can't right now. Uh, it's just not the game that I want to play right now. It just doesn't, I just don't um, like how it is right now. This is like the best way I could put it. But yeah, that's uh, those are my thoughts on the current state of MK11 and I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from and I hope you guys enjoy the video.